Hey everybody, this is Vec from Vec and Lex Play on Watchtown 1314's channel to bring you guys a tutorial video of Pokemon save files up for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So in this tutorial video, we are going to be going over how to edit your Pokemon Sun and Moon save files directly from the 3DS. It's actually a really cool tutorial. I'm going to enjoy bringing this to you guys. Watchtown actually did ask me to do this for him but he's a great guy and you guys should give him all the props because all this footage is completely from his side so we're going to go ahead and extract the sun and moon jk save manager pokemon save manager zip to the 3ds folder now we've already done that so we're just going to replace the file and completely do it all over again now once again we're going to act like for the tutorial that we do not have custom firmware we're going to do a strictly homebrew launcher tutorial these custom mini maps on the root of your SD card are very important. We're going to go into the 3DS folder, which contains all of your homebrew applications, and you're going to go ahead and start things off with Poka Save Manager. So, use a homebrew entry point of your choice. Watchton is going to be using Steel Hacks for this. But first, we're going to go ahead and verify that we are on version 11.2.035 E or U, E for Europe and U for US of the A. And of course, we're going to go into our homebrew launcher. You can use OOT hacks, steel hacks, whatever it is that you want. Base hacks, freaky hacks, ninja hacks, whatever you want to go with. So here we go. We're going to go directly into homebrew launcher. And we're going to be launching the file that we placed on in the 3DS folder on the root of the SD card, the Pokesave Manager. A Pokesave Manager, we're going to be selecting Pokemon Moon for this. Now, Poke Save Manager does take a couple of minutes to load up, so do be very, very patient with it. Poke Save Manager is a very, very neat application that has a lot, a lot of features that we're going to be covering in this video and how to go through all of that. Actually, for me, it, it takes a while, a while to load. So here we go. Now, if those mini maps that I mentioned that go inside of the 3D on the root of the SD card are in the right place and they're functioned correctly, you're going to be able to find this game. So right here, you're going to go ahead and go to your Pokemon Moon version. And when you put up your Pokemon Moon version, you're going to have this next thing that says Events Editor. So you're going to go into the event database. As you can see, you can go through those events, the editor and other. So editor allows you to edit your save, edit your Pokemon, and do a bunch of other really cool things. You can tell we are on Pokemon Moon because we're going to edit this Meteor here. And um, we're going to go ahead and make that level 28. We're going to go ahead and make it a different nature too. Let's go ahead and make it, I don't know, let's, let's make it jolly. That sounds great. And uh, friendship, we're going to go ahead and knock up to gonna keep it at zero gonna give it an item nah and then we're gonna mess around with the EVs you can change the IVs the EVs the ability the nickname and the hidden powers as you see those all fluctuate so when you go down to moves you're gonna get this blue screen right here this reminds me of the old game shark screen from game shark pro guys from like red blue and yellow game shark codes as you can see it's all carefully aligned in order of the game and you can just go through and click the moves that you need to. Here, Watchtown is going to go ahead and give it all splash attacks. Because what is the point of splashing? And right here, he's going to go ahead and show you the cloning feature of Polka Save Manager when you are editing the Pokemon itself. So then we're going to go ahead and clone this splashing mini or a couple of times. Because why not? It's going to be the absolute best OU Pokemon. So now we're going to go into the save editor, which can edit your language, your money, your battle points, your badges, some kind of placeholder, all TM, set all heals to max, clear your mystery gift box, set items to max, and set your berries to max. Really cool features. Now this is probably the coolest feature of this that I like. You can actually switch between bank boxes, and unlike the retail Poke Bank with 100 boxes, this has 150 boxes for your Sun and Moon Pokemon that you can variate between the two. Now it doesn't have quite the same kind of features, of course, as the retail Pokebank, but it is quite good. So now we go into Mass Injector here, and Mass Injector can massively inject all these event files into your games as well, along with the power save. So really cool features in Poke Save Manager. If you can't get it to start, then either your custom memory maps is not in the right place, which is a very, very, very good possibility, as it was for me the very first time I started the application. So now we're going to do JK Save Manager and PK Hex. Once again, back on the homebrew menu, through an entry point of your choice, we're going to go into JK Save Manager once again, and we're going to select Pokemon Moon. 
And we're going to go ahead and go into JK Save Manager right now. And for you guys, I'm assuming that you're on cartridge as you're watching this video, you're going to export your save directly off of your cartridge. Now, to make things really easy and to see them a little more effectively, we're going to actually name this Moon Edited so that you could see that your second save file is actually what we're going to edit while keeping a backup of your original retail save file on your actual cartridge. So, here we go. Back on the computer. So now that we're back on the computer, we are going to go ahead and up open this 3DS file that we have here. And, uh... As you can see, we're going to open Moon Edit, which contains a main save file that you guys are very used to seeing with uh, PK Hex. Now, for, for whatever reason that I can't tell, uh, we're using an unupdated PK Hex, but that is irrelevant for this tutorial because it is basically just going to show you that you can indeed pull this save file off of your cartridge using JK Save Manager edit the save file and restore it back to JK Save Manager. Remember these mini ores that we actually edited? I like how he nicknamed it best. These are the splash mini ores that we edited on the uh, Poke Save Manager. And I like how all the PowerPoints of Splash are different. That's quite, quite creative watch, Tom. I have to give you that, my friend. So I think now we're going to go ahead and make a competitive meteor set with like Rock Slide, Stone Edge, I'm trying to think of what else to give this thing. Um, let's see. Nothing else sounds fine. It only needs those two moves. Sure. And of course, we're going to make sure all of our OT information is correct from our cartridge, if not copy it from the cartridge to go ahead and make everything as legitimate as possible. Set up some attack and speed effort value so this thing can be extra fast and extra powerful. And with that, we're going to go ahead and check our locations which is fixed in the newest PK Hex. But for, for, for sense of example, then you right click and click set, and that is how you make Pokemon on PK Hex. As you can see, you can set it to as many boxes as you so want to and clone it as many times as you want to. It's a pretty free country for the most part. And you just go ahead and clone it as many times as you see fit. Which, I guess, a whole box of mini ore is a great idea, or a half a box, half a box is good. So, we're going to go ahead and also make some shiny meteors right here. Writing over the original meteors that we had the first time uh, when we were editing these before. So now we're going to go ahead and once again we're going to actually save the Pokemon. But I, I clicked the wrong thing. We need to click export save and export main. Which is actually going to export it to the import original location file that you got it from which would be very easy for you because then when you go to JK Save Manager it'll be in the same spot that you imported. So back on the 3DS we're going to do the same thing once again. We need to go back into the homebrew launcher once again. We're going to use steel hacks. Do do remind yourself if you're using uh, custom firmware this isn't even for you. We are strictly talking about the people with homebrew launcher access for this tutorial purpose. So now that's my daughter, by the way. She's two, if you haven't met her before. We're going to go ahead and go back into JK Save Manager once again, and we're going to select Pokemon Moon. And when we select Pokemon Moon this time, we will be able to import the save, which is actually on the edit file. But I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. We're going to scroll down to Import Save, and you'll see that you have two files, Moon 1912016 and Moon Edit. Do remind yourself, the file we edited is Moon Edit, which has all those shiny meteors on it. Me mini or meteors, mini ores. You know what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and reboot our console by pressing start and A. That's going to bring us back to the home menu in which we can launch Pokemon Moon. And we are going to check and verify to see if we indeed have those mini ores that we fought very, very hard to have uh, as we ride on the stout one to the nearest Pokemon Center. And here we are. We're going to check that box and see if we have those shiny mini ores that we already edited. And let's go down there and see if they are indeed shiny. Look at that. These are not shiny. Uh, he didn't shiny all of them. But there's the shiny ones. There they are with Rock Slide and Stone Edge. The edited ones that had all splash attacks. And they are named PK Hex conveniently. So you can tell which ones they are. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out Watch John 1314. And check out my channel if you so desire. But give love to the original props and owner of this footage. Again, Watch John, the man of men. A very great friend and longtime friend of mine. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Objection! Find the computer room and peace.